present state of Nigeria involving the massacre, banditry, terrorism, and depredation of social amenities is craving for a rescue hand. While I was moving around, I saw where people gathered, men, women from different tribes in Nigeria. I also saw a man at their midst, telling them about Peter Obi, his experiences while in office, the work he did, the changes he made, and the picture of the kind of country he wants to create for Nigeria. If he is them to go and verify about Peter Obi. Having watched and listened to this man's story, I can say that one among many things that stands this man out are as follows. 1. He is sincere and genuine. 2. He is not greedy nor selfish. 3. Judging from his antecedents when he was governor of Anambra State, he used his security votes to buy cars for government officials. Also, he stopped funding of his wife's first lady office, which runs in billions. Just because he wants to save enough money, he would put into education. He is prudent. He has allergy for money being wrongly spent. He cuts down the cost of governance to the extent that he was able to fund all his projects adequately without borrowing money. 4. Sacrifice He placed the people's interests above his political ambition. That's why, in his quest to deliver his promise when he was a governor, he was attacked, impeached. Yet, he did not change nor resolved to do the right, regardless of what it might cost him. He is not power drunk. He is the kind of man that can sacrifice his political ambition just to bring the positive changes Nigerians crave for, considering his antecedents in government. Because of this man's story, I saw the happiness, joy, and hope in the faces of like, follow, share.